Amen. God bless you. I'm also very honored today to be with my wife, my dear wife Florence. I don't get to travel with her all the time, <laughs> but this time the Lord gave us this opening that we could come together, and she's Amen. here today. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. I don't have to waste any more time. I'm like a gun that is fully loaded, ready to go. Praise God. Praise you, Jesus. But greetings from Malawi, the warm heart of Africa. Our people are praying for us every day, and uh, they send their greetings to Rochester. Amen. Rochester, we love you, and God bless you. Christ bless you. I believe brother. that this is the beginning of great things in Rochester. Amen. Hallelujah. It's the beginning of the mighty outpouring of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And thank you for coming together, different churches that love the Lord with all your hearts. You'll be channels by which God will move into the lives of many in Rochester. Amen. Now, we'll start off by reading from the book of St. Luke. St. Luke chapter number 18, from verse number 35 through the 43, 43rd verse. And it came to pass that as he was come nigh unto Jericho, a certain blind man sat by the wayside begging. begging. And hearing the multitude pass by, he asked what it meant. And they told him that Jesus of Nazareth passed by. And he cried, saying, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And they which went before rebuked him that he should hold his peace. But he cried so much the more, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stood and commanded him to be brought unto him. And when he was come near, he asked him, saying, what would thou that I shall do unto thee? And he said, Lord, that I may receive my sight. And Jesus said unto him, Receive thy sight, thy faith has saved thee. And immediately he received his sight and followed him, glorifying God. And all the people, when they saw it, gave praise unto God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That's great. Praise Jesus. Just before we came to America this time, we had a crusade on one side of our city. It was in a small village where we had never held a crusade, and uh, the only churches around were dead churches. I mean churches that never preached Christ as the Redeemer, as the Savior, that never preached Christ as the healer, of the sick. So when we went there, we had to introduce ourselves and introduce Christ to them whom they had for the very first time. But guess what the Lord did? There was such a harvest of souls Hallelujah. that was mind-boggling. And the same Jesus who saved those people is Amen. the same Jesus in America today. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I say he's the same because he's so interested in your life. 
He loves you so very much that he doesn't want anybody perish after this life. And this is probably one of the reasons, many reasons, why we're here. We didn't come to make a show. We came to bring the love of Jesus to you. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. The Bible tells us in Jericho was a blind man. He was called Bartimaeus. Bartimaeus was the son of Timaeus. And the word Timaeus means blind or blindness. So this man, Bartimaeus, was a blind man and looks like there was a, a generational curse in that family. Yes. Because the father was blind and he was blind. And had he not met Jesus, maybe his children were going to be blind. But thank God, when Jesus took that way, he stopped the curse. He stopped the problem. Amen. Amen. And so this man always was taken by the side of the highway road and, and spread out his sheet and begged for alms from the well-wishers every day. But as he sat by the roadside every time, some people came to him and told him great stories about the man called Jesus. How he opened the blind eyes, how he made the lame to walk, how he raised the dead, and the many miracles that Jesus did. But this blind man really wanted to meet Jesus. But his problem was he was he was limited. He had limitations. He had a disability. He didn't know where to find this Jesus so he could heal him. And every day of his life, he, he heard stories about Jesus. And the Bible says, faith comes by hearing, hearing and by hearing the word, the word of God. So he kept on hearing and that built faith in the life of that man. And one of the fine days, while well, by the roadside, he heard a commotion. A commotion coming from one direction, going to another direction. And then he asked, he wanted to know, what is that commotion about? Who, who are those people? And somebody said, it is Jesus of Nazareth passing by. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 It is Jesus of Nazareth passing by. And that man said that Jesus have so much head off. I don't want to miss my chance. He gathered his last strength and began to cry out. He said, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. I don't know if you've ever thought about this. He quoted the covenant name of Jesus. He didn't just say Jesus, the son of God, but he said, Jesus, the son of David, have mercy on me. When you look at David, long time ago, God told him, I've chosen you as king after my heart, and from your house, your, the kingdom, the scepter of kingship shall never depart. God, in his mind, was thinking of his son, Jesus Christ, Amen. who was going to be king, and his kingship has no end. Amen. He is over all. He has all power. He has all mercy. He has all love. Amen. He has all kindness that Rochester needs today. Yes, Lord. Jesus hallelujah. is in the city. Yes, hallelujah. 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 He has your miracle. He has what you need. He can make you a point of need today, but follow me in this message before Jesus does a miracle. Because I'm, I'm confident if you believe in him, something good will happen to you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Yes, Lord. I went to preach in some village as well, a crusade. And not knowing that crusade was a woman that was demon possessed and had run away from home. She used to sleep in the bush come rain, come sunshine. And on a Saturday evening, the Holy Spirit ushered her to the crusade. And then after preaching the word of God, came time to pray for the sick. And as I was praying for the sick, demons manifested in that lady. And one of my young ladies in the choir, whom I had trained that Jesus loves everybody and 
is ready for everyone. This young lady grabbed hold of that girl, that woman, and cast out 15 demons out of that woman. Hallelujah. I pray in the name of Jesus. Yes, the same Jesus Christ yes. who passed through Jericho, yes. who passed through that village, yes. is passing through Rochester Amen. today in the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. Amen. You all the praise, honor, and glory. Amen. Amen. Please forgive me. I'm a noisy preacher. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, as Jesus was passing through the city, and this blind but mess now had gotten the message, it is Jesus of Nazareth. The Bible says, he screamed. He called on Jesus and said, Son of David, have mercy on me. Amen. Jesus is the Jesus of mercy. He's the Son of God who is full of compassion. Hallelujah. He's full of mercy. Hallelujah. When he screamed like that, some people came and said, Hey, stop, stop, hold your peace. Don't trouble the master. Just be quiet. Continue begging from people. That man could not take it. He couldn't let go. He screamed the more yeah. and said, Jesus, yeah. son of David, have mercy on me. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Have mercy on us. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. To the shock Hallelujah. of everybody, Jesus stopped for that blind man. He couldn't go any further. He stopped. And he told the nearby people, call him to come to me. Let me tell you, Jesus was not just trying to pass by that road. He knew there was a man in need. He knew there was a blind man. He knew there was a man that people passed by who sat in the dust. But are you not thrilled that Jesus could stop for a poor blind man like that one? He stopped for him. That touches my heart. There's nobody here who's less privileged when where God is concerned. Amen. There's nobody Hallelujah. here who is useless. No matter how your past, no matter how you've lived. Amen. Tonight Jesus will stop for you. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. He will stop for you and change your life forever. Yes. Hallelujah. Forever. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Forever. 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 Amen. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. He stopped. And when they told him, Jesus is calling you, that man did not wait for anybody to hold him by the hand and lead him to Jesus. He was so full of faith. He was so full of faith. He said, I'm going. Amen. I'm going. If I hit a tree, let me hit a tree. But I'm going. Right. If I stumble and fall, let me stumble and fall. But I'm going. Yes, Lord. Jesus has my miracle. Yes. My miracle. Hallelujah. My miracle. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to ask you a question. How many of you believe? That the Jesus of the Bible is the same today just as he was then. Amen. Hallelujah. Do you believe it? Yes. Do yes. you believe it? Yes. He's not alive only for Africa. Jesus is alive for America. Hallelujah. For America. For America. For his glory. The Amen. Bible says the Amen. same Jesus yesterday, today and forever. Amen. Amen. Nothing has changed about Jesus. Nothing apart from him now being in the spirit. Because when he went up to heaven, he okay, came back okay. to us through the Holy Ghost. Yeah. But nothing of his ministry has changed. Yes. Especially yes. when faith is concerned. Yes. If you believe, yes. he will do according to your faith. Yes. If you believe, he will change your situation according to your faith. Nothing about Jesus has changed. Amen. His compassion is the same. Yes. His self-serving power is the same. Yes. 
His Hallelujah. healing power is the same. Yes, it is. He can still open the blind eyes. Yes. He can still make the lame to walk. Hallelujah. He can still open the deaf ears. Yes, Lord. He can open the barren wombs. Yes, Lord. He can still do miracles. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. My faith in Jesus is exploding. Yes, it is. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We've had a few ladies in our church. Some of them had, one of them had a big child. She was looking for a child, and it looked impossible. Another one, the same. Another one, the same. One of the Sundays, the Holy Spirit anointed me with a word to tell the church that today is a day for the impossibilities to happen in your life. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. You, Lord. Amen. Impossibilities. Yes, Lord. Jesus is in the city. So I told them, today is a day of impossibilities. God is going to work miracles if you believe. Yes. 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 Amen. Thank you, Lord. And Thank you, Lord. People were so moved and touched by the word of God. They just wanted to be prayed for. They had believed God. I didn't know those women were believing God for the children. And a few days ago, one of the church leaders in church came to me. He said, do you know what God has done from that message? I said, no. He said, so and so is pregnant. And so and so is pregnant. And so and so is pregnant. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The devil is a liar. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No problem is meant to last forever. No problem. No situation is impossible with God. Yes, Lord. We Thank save you. a big God. We save a mighty God. Amen. Nothing is impossible with him. Amen. And Jesus also said, to him that believes, all things are possible. Are possible. Amen. All things are possible. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Hey, when Bartimaeus had believed, you know what he did? He acted on his faith. Yes. When he heard Jesus is calling you, he stood up and ran towards Jesus. Amen. Ran towards Jesus. <laughs> and the Bible Amen. says his Amen. government was trying to, to delay him. He took it and pushed it away, threw it away, and ran to Jesus. Yes, he did. Act on your faith, and the miracle become a reality. Amen. Amen. If you cannot walk, act on your faith after prayer. You'll find yourself walking. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Act on your faith. If you want Jesus to forgive your sin, act on your faith. Yes. Stand up and run to Jesus. Amen. Run to Jesus. One step you make towards the Lord, he'll take ten steps towards you. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes. There's no Hallelujah. sinner Jesus cannot forgive you. Amen. No sinner. Thank, thank you, Jesus. There's no evil person. Your forgiveness. The love of God cannot change. Yes, Lord. It's possible today. The people you see here, some of them were drug addicts. Some of them were gunmen or robbers. But when the love of God came to them, it turned them around. Hallelujah. Turned them around. Hallelujah. Some of them took marijuana, but the love of God changed them yes. from marijuana, yes. from being a drug addict, yes. from being an alcoholic, yes. to the Holy Spirit baptism. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. When he ran to Jesus, Jesus said, what, what can I do for you? That man said, if only I could receive my sight. Amen. Jesus said, according to your faith, yeah. receive your sight. Yes. Yes. And immediately, the Bible says, his eyes opened. Yes. He began to see what a mighty God. What a mighty God. What a mighty God. What do you want him to do for you? Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number one miracle is to be born again. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Get born again. Yes. yes. You might have come here bound 
by sin, yes. bound by evil, the devil dragging you to hell. But if you say yes to Jesus, Jesus will break 